a major topic lately has been telling stories. Not selling people on something, but telling stories. So I want to discuss the difference between somebody who reads your content and goes, And somebody that goes, oh, oh my, God. wow, <laughs> wow, that, hey everyone, you gotta check this out, oh man, I, I've gotta, I've gotta tweet this immediately, on Facebook, Google Plus, everywhere, the world has to know. As you can see, there is a huge difference between the reactions of excellent content, great stories, and boring content, and sales tactics. You may think, as a company, don't we want to talk about the bottom line? That's what it's all about, driving sales. Well, you know, stories aren't going to put food on the table. Well, in an interesting sort of way, yes, they do. Because if you're just selling people on everything, I mean, for instance, if you're a landscaper, and you're just always pushing the coupons that you have and you're trying to compete on the sales level, there's always going to be someone cheaper. You need to connect with your customers, you need to get them to trust you, and they, you need them to tell their friends about you. That's the most important thing. When you're a landscaper, you have a couple customers and you do an absolutely outstanding job, of course they're going to tell people about it. Anytime that comes up, somebody just so happens to complain about like, oh, the grass is dying again this summer. It, that, it's a perfect opportunity to just go, you would never, well, if you're, I mean, you should see our grass because, you, and you got to talk to this guy, here's his card. Then you're putting the marketing of your own company in their hands and not on your hands. So what does this have to do with telling stories? Well, as the person who owns the landscaping business, the more effective thing to do is something similar to what Corona did. The whole like life is a beach type thing where you, every, every scene of Corona is just on a beach somewhere or even now they're extending that even further. But what is that all about? Every time you drink Corona, they want you to think of that beach lifestyle. They want you to think of relaxation. They are creating these stories around their product so that when you use their product and when you consume their product, you think about those stories. Coca-Cola did an excellent job with this when it came to Christmas. So now Coke is somehow tied to something else that is a lot more popular. So the more that Christmas gets marketed, the more that beaches get marketed, the more that Corona gets marketed, and the more that Coke gets marketed because the two have been tied together through strategic and effective branding. So as you, you being the owner of this landscaping company, sure, coupons may work to get a couple people in, but the focus needs to be on being an effective business person. You gotta just outperform every single landscaper around. You gotta be super nice. You gotta treat your customers like royalty. Let, make them feel like they're walking on the red carpet. And then, on top of all of that, create a story behind that. With your marketing, with, with print ads and with commercials, video marketing, social media, create stories around the landscaping. Feature people walking through pristine landscape and walking into their backyard and just not having a care in the world because it's all taken care of of them. Waking up in the morning and seeing the, the dew dripping on each blade of grass that was carefully cut by your lawnmowers. I mean, when you connect a lifestyle, when you connect this story to your company, people are going to remember you. And people are going to talk about you to other people. I mean, when it really comes down to it, people share interesting things. If something is incredible, then just the fact that of sharing that with someone else, it makes you feel professional or it makes you feel like you have like inside information that no one else knows. And by sharing that with other people, it makes you feel cool. It makes you feel like you know something that other people didn't. And then at the same time, whatever you shared with them, if it helped them, then it's also a good feeling that you helped someone out. Google Plus did an amazing job when they released Google Plus to just a few people. And it was like, we want you to see this first. We, what do you think about this? And 
Google Plus's users shot through the ceiling faster than any other social network because they put the marketing in the hands of everyone else. Then people were like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Like, I, I know somebody that everyone else doesn't know. So here, and then they, of course, you could share the invitation with people. That's how I got it. Somebody I knew had the invitation. I asked them for it. I got it. I felt all cool that other people that I know didn't have that invitation and weren't using Google Plus, and I felt like I had inside information. It's really cool to structure your marketing. Bottom line, the stories that get shared, the stories that get passed around, the stories that get talked about all the time with a bunch of different people are the stories that are interesting, amazing, relevant, and helpful. I mean, you wouldn't, little Timmy here, little Timmy, you, you wouldn't go up to little Timmy and he wants to hear a story and, and tell him like, well, once upon a time, there was 20% off for this Friday only. And if you are the ninth caller, you will actually receive a free broom. No, little Timmy is going to be bored to tears and he's not gonna know what you're talking about. And if he doesn't need a broom, he's not gonna care. But if your story went like this to little Timmy, once upon a time, companies all over the place just like yours and mine, started producing amazing content. And they all started telling excellent stories. And yes, Timmy, that is how we made it out of that economic recession. The end. Please, tell an amazing story. Take time on the content that you are putting out there to thousands, perhaps even millions of people. We will give a hoot about your company if you give us a good reason to.